it's Elizabeth and Dustin on the Toy Hoarder and today we have a huge mystery box of toys. There is an entire tote here of plush from a nearby store. We'll probably just kind of take turns and tell you what we see, try to figure it out. If there's anything in here that we find that we don't know what it is and you know what it is, let us know down in the comments below. Are you ready for this? I'm ready. I feel... Ooh, I'm so okay. excited you're gonna die. <laughs> um, okay. you want me to go first? Sure, you can go first. All right, I'm gonna start with this cute little robot astronaut thing. Just absolutely adorable. It's got these really cute little ears. Oh, he's got buttons on his ears. Yeah, little light buttons. Um, it is from Over the Moon. Here we go. All those color changing lights, look at that. Does he see anything else? I don't know. Nope. Still pretty cool. This is pretty much the iconic space phrase. Yes. All right. I like it. I like that's the light change color. He's super, super cute. cute. Well, we need to keep that. Okay, I guess I'll do something that's girly looking that you'll be afraid of. <laughs> oh, I'm afraid of girly stuff, huh? Oh my goodness. Oh wow. Have me and fill me. This is a plush unicorn bank, you guys. Super soft. Not as soft as the astronaut, but still pretty soft. She's got some glitter sequin type stuff on her she... horn, but it does not come off. The glitter does not come off. Horn and ears have glitter. And then there's glitter around the irises of her eye. I'll show you real close. I don't know how well you can see that. And then on this little star tattoo on her bottom, she's got a very fuzzy rainbow tail and mane here. And then there's a slot in the top of her that's the bank. And the bottom is where you get the change back out. It's a Fab NY toy. Fab NY. Mm -hmm. In New York. There you go. That's pretty fun, actually. I kind of like that. But I don't know how I feel about wanting to cuddle my bank. change bank. Yeah, I don't know. That's um. I've seen I've seen these before. This is a bigger one than I've seen though. And it's that can't be very cuddly. I mean, it's really it's really cuddly. It's got a solid piece inside his body, but. It's so soft. I don't know. I guess you still put it on a dresser. I don't know. But cute, cute, cute. All right. All right. Oh, let's go with this one. We've got a sealed box. Looks like we've got some Beyblades. These are the slinging shocks. I did not have Beyblades as a kid. It's a Hasbro. What it's this like one little battle from? tops or something is what it kind of looks like. Yeah. Do they transform to you? I don't know. I think they're customizable. Like you can... Stack them differently or something. It says there's an app that goes with it too, so that's fun. Ooh, fun. This one is specifically by Sunrites. Hasbro and Sunrites. Oh my. Okay, this is interesting. I definitely thought this was going to be a clapper, you guys. But it's actually hollow on the other side and there's only one, so I guess you can just wave with it. Is I don't it, know. Is it broken? I, it just... It looks like it might connect to something else. Maybe there was a game, like a fly swatting game. <laughs> I wonder if it's for that, oh, the hand for that pie game. The pie oh, in your a pie, eye a pie, the pie in the face game? Yeah, we saw oh, that a couple goodness. times. So. Okay, it's a little bit fun though. I feel like we can do a cool toy mod with this at some point. I don't know, hey, if anyone knows what this goes to, let us know and I'll show you the bottom piece. It almost looks like it connects to something. It's sort of hollow and then it's got these little edges. So let us know if you guys know. All right, okay. All right, what do we got? Oh my gosh, this is adorable. Oh, he's pretty soft. He is. We got this cute little Fargo hat wearing penguin here. He is from... American Greetings, so that's cool. He's really soft. Cute. He's a cuddle buddy, yep. Wow. I think we might be keeping that one. This is a little car seat slash carrier for a baby doll, and it has this adorable elephant right here engraved in the top, which is super cute, and then it's got some engraved cushions in here. It's not at all soft or cuddly, but maybe you can put kind of a blanket or something in here. I'm gonna bring this penguin back in here and put him in there. Oh, you guys. It also, so there are little hinges here, so it may have actually hooked into some other kind Maybe of Maybe a stroller? Or something. Yeah, or a high chair or something. You can probably convert something. it or do something. It's really neat. And then there's little elephants on the side of it, too. Cute, cute, cute. 
It doesn't say anywhere where it's from, who made it. I don't know, but super cute. Oh, great. Um, you know, you want that big pink thing in the middle. Yeah, let's go with the big pink thing in the middle. What are you? It's a Trolls microphone is what it says on here. It has a troll. Ooh, it's from the Trolls movie or possibly Trolls World Tour. I'm unsure. There they sing in the both button. movies, so. Hello? Oh. I'm Queen Poppy. <gasps> it's oh. from Trolls World Tour. She said I'm Queen Poppy. You can't harmonize alone. <laughs> That's cool. That's a newer toy. That's fun. That is fun. That's awesome. Uh, okay, guys. I have a couple of plush animatronic poppy toys that I need to get videos up for you guys. But this is going to be super fun with those. Love it. I also have an Ugly Dolls Moxie toy that dances. She might play with it, too. Okay, okay, okay. Um, uh, what do I want to do? So many cool things in oh, here, This actually. is fun. This is so fun. Okay, this is a not really a kid's toy, but... Okay, who wouldn't play with this, right? Okay, so this is actually for your dogs. You hold it like this on the little hand grip, and then you fling the tennis ball across the park. I have dogs. They don't understand fetch. If they actually go after whatever you throw, they might get it, but then they'll keep it and just chew on it. So it's all of like one time Wait, and we're done. Okay. Yours actually pick it up and chew on it? Okay. Mine will chase after it, sniff it, and then walk away. Yeah, they they no, don't it even... It really wasn't good enough for them, but this actually looks really fun to play with. You could probably play with this with another human being and have them try to catch it. And be careful, I don't know how far it actually will fling. I mean, this is a pretty know, that's... little thing, but I kind of want to go test it out. And if we go test it out, let me know if you guys want to see a video of us testing this out and see how far this goes. Probably won't bring a dog in the video because, again, mine don't play and neither do his. So, <laughs> not going to work out, but another time. All right. All right. Um, ooh, here we go. We have a giant glow stick, which... Oh, oh. It may not sound as exciting, but I've never seen to get these from parades. If we ever go to a parade, I never seem to get that catch these. Um, but glow foam it's stick, cool enough. age ages five and up, bend and snap, shake to activate. That's really cool. It's actually, it's actually this way. It's a big old like. It's a big old honking. Somebody went. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh my okay, I get this one. All right, this is a more than magic light up unicorn pen. No. Oh, it's I can't I can't do the try me because it doesn't it doesn't actually. Oh, uh, uh, look look. Mm -hmm. Oh, and there's a sloth on the back. I love sloths, guys. That is her jam. Mm, okay, that's cool. We'll All right, what else do we got? Um, you know what? Here we go. We have. A eight inch collector plush from Ninja. It's a, is that a YouTube channel or something? I think it is. It's um series one. Let's see if we can get this opened up. Ninja Holdings. That's it. Doesn't really say. It says it's game time. Um, so this is kind of cute. I kind of like ninjas. I love all these adorable get some things. Toy Hoarder Dragon plush. Toy that would be yeah. awesome. All right. <gasps> Oh my god. I'm yeah. sorry, it went flat. This is your fault. Yep, it's absolutely my flat. Guys, there is a squishy toy. It's one of those newer ones that uh the slow rise. It's not a stress toy, it's a squishy toy, which is a very different thing if you guys collect I don't I don't my dad and I collect these stress toys, like the original you have to actually put some effort in to squish it kind of thing. So these are not as exciting for us, but they make these in all sorts of different things more than the original stress toys so it's pretty cool and this is an adorable little flat tire he's like oh no oh. <laughs> Let's him. okay yes oh wow yep see here we go and get him all squished up and there you go all right oh, oh my god so much cool stuff i'm gonna do it i'm gonna do it i thought you were gonna hit me this like is a Hot Wheels OSMO. It looks like it's a launcher of some sort. It has buttons on the side to drop the cars. And they come down. And then I guess there's a split there for your track. That's kind of cool. I really don't know much about this set. There's something else here too that I just found. If anyone knows more about this, please let us know. 
it looks kind of cool. We uh, we have some Hot Wheels that we'll probably show off here soon. Probably starts with like a race or something. Maybe I don't I don't know. I got almost all the Toy Story Hot Wheels, so them, plus some others that aren't officially Toy Story, but they play with my Toy Story ones. All right. Okay, 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 okay. My turn. It's your turn. All right. I get the puzzle. I don't know if we're going to find other paperwork in here later, but I won't lie, guys. Sometimes it's kind of fun to do a mystery puzzle, and this one has a good number of pieces. I mean, obviously, I don't know how many. It doesn't say much on here. Plastic ga plastic bags can be dangerous. To avoid danger of suffocation, keep that keep this bag away from babies and children. Oh, you can't let me have this. <laughs> no. Um, but it, looking at the pieces, it looks like it will be some sort of winter scene, maybe with some carriages. Some trees covered in snow. So one of those old-fashioned ones. Like one of those old-fashioned paintings of carolers and things like that. I'm excited. I don't know how many pieces, but a lot. It'll probably be really difficult to do without a picture. Maybe we'll do a video on that later. That'll be a fun video. Mystery puzzle. All right, my turn. I'm going to get this out of the way because I see it and I hate it. We have a slime kit here um, from Craft City by Karina Garcia. Ready, set, go. I'm going to let you guys know something. <laughs> I am the biggest anti-slime advocate ever. This stuff is impossible to get out of anything that your kids get it on and is terrible. I will never be able to give a positive review for slime because it just destroys everything it touches. And that's really sad because some of it looks kind of fun, actually. Oh guys, what? is this one of those oh. flip cars? Oh, that is awesome. Like, oh, it's got an on-off switch. Oh my goodness. Oh, I think it's a remote control one. Ooh, I wonder if the remote's in here too. That would I be don't awesome. Know. We actually got uh, five totes and two huge pallets of toys to do for you guys of just random huge. mystery toys. So um, it's going to be interesting trying to find some of the pieces of some of these and I don't know if they'll all be in here, but... Hopefully we'll find a remote that goes with this guy, but it's a two-sided police car. So you get this side and this side, and it's one of those flip cars, so it looks like it'll go, and once it hits the wall, it'll flip itself over and, and drive the other, the other way. way, which is That's super awesome. Super cool. Oh, I love these. Okay. All right. Um, I'm so excited. I don't know what to grab next. So I am going to grab this. We have a loop pinata. Is that one a bank? Oh. No, it, it's just a little plush guy. He's kind of soft. But I figured I wanted to do this one next because I just saw them, and we're kind of opening a loop pinata ourselves. This is this from, from Fortnite, guys. Yep, yeah, from Fortnite, um, which we we really should jump and play at some it. point, I like just to try it out because we actually might have some Fortnite stuff coming up soon. Oh my goodness! Yes, I got Valentine tattoo boxes. What? Perfect for little Valentines. Each box contains four tattoos or eight boxes. Cute. Nice. Bendin is the company. I might it's cover her face in uh, her, uh, temporary tattoos. They're pretty cute, guys. Is. Here's some of the tattoos that come in it. Super cute. All right. I, I, I this is going to be a favorite. What is it? We have an envelope made out of fake alligator skin. It is kind of this like fake suede leather and uh, on the inside and the fake alligator skin on the outside. It's and probably, it has a little clasp. It's an envelope. It's probably go. not an envelope. It's, it's probably like a little clutch or something. Or maybe it's, it's like a toy clutch. <laughs> I don't know. I can't see any. It's like the size of a legal envelope. I, right? It's really, it's kind of strange. I don't know if it's supposed to be a kid's toy or if, I mean, it's supposed to be for mail or for money or what, I would feel really weird carrying this around as a wallet, but. All right, well, if you're gonna do that, I got this one. Oh, oh yeah, it's got some kind of liquid in here and some sparkles, some sparkly, I don't even Is it know. Like a pencil bag? And then, yeah, it's got a pink tiger on it, big old gold zipper. Oh, it's only, on, it's only on the front that it has all the squishy stuff, squishy floaty. That's probably a good thing. This is this is great for your fidgeters, as long as it's not too loud. My hearing's not the best, so I don't hear it, but this is 
Oh, this one's dangerous. Okay, I need to put this down before I, before I can't play with it. Play with it all night? <laughs> Uh, oh, you got a remote. Hopefully that's a remote for our police car. Just... Okay, guys, I got the Nana Surprise Doll. And I am going to hold it like this because it is not actually wearing pants. It's just got panties on and it is actually one-legged. I'm, I'm going to try to show this here. She's got a sock here. I don't really know if it's got another leg in here. But this is kind of interesting. She is poseable. She's got joints in her arms and in her single leg and her head turns some and goes up and down. She's pretty cute, actually. It says she's from series one. Na 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 surprise. Oh, I'm sorry. Na 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 surprise. I always thought it was na na surprise. Anyway, her shirt says stripes and she's got two tigers on it. She's got a little band-aid over her nose right here. Super adorable. Oh, I found something. I found her leg. All right, hold on. She's got a little shoe on with a little tiger on it. Cute. I'm probably have to glue her leg back on because it's not going very well, but she does have her other leg and her little shoe, so hopefully we'll be able to get that back together. You did one, I'll do one. Here we are. <gasps> a creeper! Boom. Boom? Boom. They explode. They go and chase her after you oh, and then they is explode. This, is that the That's the, the noise they make. Yeah, I guess. It's just the noise they make. It's supposed to terrify you, I guess. Minecraft. It's a bank. Doom. Not very cuddly. Oh, here we go. J. Franco and Sons. It's really cute. Minecraft. Everyone loves Minecraft. All right, guys. Here's another ninja toy from WCT. Wicked Cool Toys, which is just like an epic name for a toy company, by the way. Anyway, super soft. Not really very cuddly because he's so tiny, but it's pretty cute. Little thing you can, I don't know, I can throw a ninja face at you randomly. Well, you From know. out of nowhere. Uh, be a real ninja? Okay. You got another really cute little unicorn here. I'm gonna get a good view on it for you. Um, it is a squeeze me surprise. Oh no. I'm... Okay, okay, this thing poops slime, basically is what it does. Okay, oh, thank god. There's no slime in it. It's not loaded. It's not loaded. Oh, <laughs> I can't even talk about it like that. Just put it down. We're done with that. Okay, this is, <laughs> my goodness, um, that is a... here's this, uh, I don't know, you guys, is this a sheep? Is this a bear? Is this, what, what are you, what's your... I don't know. <laughs> it looks like it wants pizza, though. This is super creepy. The outfit's kind of cute, but it is very creepy. Its neck is kind of coming... Oh, okay, look, it's got, like, a, a reversible thing. Oh, okay, hold on, guys. It is, oh, it's a Pick Me Pops. I've seen these. Uh, made in 2019 by Moose Toys. Huh. <laughs> Moose. A little creepy. Oh, it turns inside out. Ah. Oh, wait, what? what? Do I push all the... Oh my god. Does it turn into a pizza? It turns into a... I don't know, bag of pizza. I don't know, what is it supposed to be? A bag of pizza. Okay. There's this thing. Um, I don't know much about the Pick Me Pops, but I think it's a little bit creepy and doesn't make a whole lot of sense. There are some hearts on the back and this heart pizza, which it was, I feel like it was almost cute, but then it didn't really make a lot of sense. I don't know. It doesn't feel nice. It it's had got a this weird and curly failed. hair, but it doesn't, it doesn't feel nice. You just have to, it, it's oh, scented. Oh, can you that smell is, it? No, I can't smell it, but that is not pleasant. Mm. Oh, it smells it's very like strongly cotton, of like... That's cotton candy. Yeah, yeah. I know that smell. Okay. Fake cotton candy smell is terrible. Toy guys, stop putting it on things. Got a little pig here. It has a battery pack. Don't know what it's from. No labels or anything. If you guys know any more about him, let us know. Um, does he do anything? I feel like he's probably from a board game or something. I could feel a button in him, but he I guess- He needs a battery or a trigger or something? Yeah. What's this? It's a squishy. Pillow? It's a miney. Everyone needs a miney. This is a perfect decorative pillow, small enough to carry around and supple enough to make you comfy wherever you are. And gosh, it just feels good. It's made by yeah. Fairfield. A miney? A miney. Am I? It sounds like a Why? somebody mine. tried to make a theme. Miney. 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 Mine. This is a really tiny pillow, you guys. I will let you know. There's a zipper on the oh. side. It's a two. I don't think you're supposed to unzip it. That's probably just for washing. Yeah, this is not very comfy <laughs> at all. All you. What's inside you, zipper of mystery? Oh, there's 
No, it's not just for washing. There's a pouch. What did you do? Okay. It talks. It talks. Is this mine? I think this is Timon. It says it's from The Lion King. Um, That'll be from the newest Lion King film. Um, live action. I mean, it was animals. It wasn't live action. It was still, <laughs> live it was still very much animated. It was a uh, CGI. But the more realistic looking creatures video. Hmm. Tastes like chicken. <laughs> Welcome to our humble home. Repeat after me, kid. Hakuna Matata. I don't think he's super cute because I'm not really that into some of the live action animals. His, what, what is one, a meerkat or something? A meerkat, yeah. They're not very cute. They're just not. I'm sorry. I like the cartoon ones better of them. What's this? Snow chalk marker. <laughs> Why is this even what? down here? <laughs> yeah, all these toys did come from a Local southern movie. state. This is an Anyo toy. I don't know. Maybe if we travel and build a snowman, we can decorate him with this. That would be, oh, cool that would be a fun video. Right? All right. Oh. Coloring our snowman. Let's see. Or what snowwoman. Do do? My sister and I made a snowman and a snowwoman one time. It was really fun. Here we go. Money. Yeah. yeah. Chance money Chance. for some type of. Oh, for the Monopoly Blast Money Blaster. <laughs> the thing that shoots money all over the place. That's, I want to play with one of those. I think that'll be fun. That would be really fun. If bills become wrinkled, flatten them with your hand or use 10 fewer bills at the start of your game. <laughs> still sealed and uh we got a chance card on top income tax collect money from everyone else all right i got this raggedy looks looks kind of like toto or something so he has a little bow on him uh -huh. oh my goodness i can't get there his tongue is sticking out that's that's mm. oh okay he is actually from the wizard of oz so he is supposed to be toto okay that's cool ruby's costume company oh he's a prop he's a, a cosplay prop basically that's cool that's neat this is a this is really rough guys this dog has he some serious brush, matted fur. No, I mean, this is like an actual serious issue that could harm the dog. If your dog looks like this, you need to take it to the vet and get it taken care of, you guys. It's not healthy. Ziploc bag full of Legos. Um, looks like it's some kind of car. There's some sealed bags in there still, like hubcaps or something. I don't know. I might uh, sit down and try to figure out what it is later. All put right, it together. Right, right. Speaking of cars, oh, you I love don't know those. why I like these so much. They made several different characters. It's just called Kids 2 Canada Company. This is so cute, you guys. It's a little, It's these are for very, very small children here. But the older ones can get a kick out of it too, and I think that's why I like it so much. You get more versatility out of this. It's still pretty fun. And it's a very gender neutral toy. Yeah. Little girls or little boys. So. Everyone loves playing with cars. Cool. They have some Toy Story ones of these too. Awesome stuff. All right, what do we got here? Um, Some kind of... Is that a hat? Oh my goodness. I don't know. It's, it's, it's a unicorn of some sort. Oh, here we go. Tag. It's a fuzzy wubble. <laughs> I... <laughs> Made by NSI International. A weird hole. There's a hole. It's like, got like a, um, a rubbery gummy kind of. Like a valve or something. Maybe it inflates? I don't know. Maybe it was full of slime. I don't know. Oh god, guys. that'd be terrible. Could you imagine? But it's plush, so I don't. I don't yeah, know. but it's, it's, I thought this was, picking it up, I thought it was a hat. God, what do you got? Please. Oh I got a jelly donut. Look at this. This is too cute. It actually looks a little bit like a beignet or something. Jelly oh, that is definitely a plush jelly donut. Got the jelly coming up the top. There you go. Oh, it's dangerous. It'll make me hungry. Okay, here. Oh, we got a little hedgehog. It's pretty cute. I like the hearts in his ears. Is it? Is his nose a heart too? No. No, his nose is a little red. Nose. It has a switch on it, but it looks like somebody had left it on. Um, So the batteries are dead, so we won't know what it does. It's probably just one of those desk uh, nightlight things. They make a bunch of little uh, silicone or plastic Like the frogs lights. and the ladybugs. I've got, okay. a, I've got a couple in my room. I mean, what? I don't own that. Guys, I'm a toy hoarder. I own something. You know? <gasps> a baseball. A baseball. Rawlings. Official T-ball. This is an official T-ball, you guys. Indoor-outdoor training ball. 
softcore baseball. Synthetic leather cover. It feels like a real baseball. It's pretty cool. There's no way to it. Oh my goodness. <clears throat> I'll put that away before I injure someone. This is why I don't play sports, guys. I just play with toys. We got a football. It's pink. Kind of cute. Get the girls into football. Girls love football. Um, Maybe if they actually taught girls how to play football, we'd be more interested. This is from IQ Accessories Incorporated. And that's really, it's 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 soft. It's, it feels like it's got the uh, just regular stuffing inside it's of it. It's not very soft. It's kind of rough. I mean, it's a plush, but it's kind of a rough plush. It's one of these cheapy ones. This is like uh, a Mardi Gras throw or something. I don't know. All right. All right. My turn, my turn, my turn, my turn. Oh. Guys, it's a purple owl. And he, it's a, is this a? It's a purse. purse. That's so cute. And he can actually bite, look, see, because he's got the ah. ear. Wow, that's actually kind of sharp, guys. Be careful with that <laughs> if you're going to get this. But uh, it says, oh, this is made by Just Play. Cool. We like Just Play ah. stuff. That's cute. All right. What do we got here? It's a mystery. Inside of a mystery. Shall we open it? Yeah, I just wanted to give you a straight face when you did that. Okay, go ahead. Yeah, ruin all my fun. That's what she does, everyone. She ruins the fun my fun. is mine to have. Mine. What do we got here? Oh, it is Kristoff. I didn't know those came in blind bags. I did not is that either. A nitty, is that a nitty bitty? Is that a Hallmark thing? It's no. It's um. It's just a Disney. That's so cute. It's Kristoff. He's like a very cartoonified version of. He's him. a chibi Kristoff. <laughs> All right. No, hey, it's my turn. Uh, but you I see this? Was about to take I want to do turn. more. Wait a minute. <laughs> Hurry up. Take a turn. Oh, okay. This is. Hmm. Yeah, you don't want to be offensive or anything, but it's not very cute. Uh, this was made by Russ to make someone happy. It wasn't me. Well, that wasn't who made it happy. It is not super soft, but it does have a, uh, I want to say shiny, reflective, sequiny type. Heart on here, and he's printed with little polka dots all over. He's kind of cute. He reminds me of other little Are his like, eyes Mardi glittery? Graphs. They look glittery. Yeah, his eyes. The irises on his eyes are glittery. I don't know if you guys can see it or not. All right. Um. Oh. Oh. Another one. For those of you who uh, watch our channel, you know that we have done a lot of Kingdom Builders stuff, and uh, this is the drill from the Battle Cat King Build Beast. Build -Beast. Thank you. So, Guys, I do have more Kingdom Builders characters that I have videos on and I need to get them posted soon. So if you were interested in that, those are coming probably in the next, I don't know, a couple weeks to a month. I'm going to work on it. I know I have so, so many toys. It's amazing. Okay. Okay, okay. Is, is, is it my turn? It's your turn. Okay. What is this? Oh, hey, look. A lone Lego. I think that went to yours. Oh. Okay. That didn't count. We got another... Oh, that didn't count? Oh, that didn't no, count? My one was count. Forget you. Okay. <laughs> this looks like a mag cartridge to the mutator gun. Oh my it looks goodness. like we got a couple of those actually. But it's uh it's a nerf gun. Here's a little nerf thing in it. And you load it up and then can reload. <laughs> That's a violent toy. Don't do that at home. No, um, these are usually pretty soft and relatively not harmful. There's got some more parts to it, it looks like. Is that a... Oh, I guess that does say Nerf on it. Yeah. Although the other one was like a mutator gun or something. I don't know if that was a Nerf gun or not. I don't know enough about all the... There are so many different Nerf guns and uh, guns that have bullets that are something like a Nerf gun. All right, look. What? It's does a scope. This... Maybe. I don't know. Did I put it on backwards? Maybe. I don't know. <laughs> oh I tried looking God, through no. it and it didn't go well, so. I, um. There was definitely no right or wrong way to be looking through it. I mean, oh, wow. See, it makes everything tiny. That's weird. Right? Okay, I don't know, you guys, but I am not at all a weapon specialist, so. All right. Another remote control. This one's for uh, Fast and the Furious. Turbo booster controller. 
Um, I haven't seen a Fast and the Furious car in here, unfortunately, so maybe we'll find one. I got some cards. Oh, what kind of cards are they? The Mystery Index. Are you sure this is Mystery? No. I'm sorry, that... the Misery Index. <laughs> My bad. I'm on the Mystery Box, you guys. I don't know what you want from me. All right. We have number 24 and number 66. Number 24 says, Shard of Glass in Salad, and it's got a picture of someone eating a light bulb on a fork. That's Some ways to die. Pretty redonkulous. Okay, we've also got number 66. It says, Take DNA test. Your dad's not your dad. That would be a pretty miserable thing to discover as an adult. <laughs> okay, well, that's weird. I don't know what game that's from, but probably some kind of game. Your turn. Ow, careful. Sorry about that. Almost knocked myself in the face. We got another surprise. Some type of Captain Marvel thing. Um, let's see. Uh, is that one of those sticky things? Oh, it just said it was a Captain Marvel mashem. It's a mashem. One of those little sticky things. I hate you. You'll get over it. You just put the trash. You just put the trash. Just wait. It'll be okay. We have to put everything back, right? I mean, okay. Who did we get? Oh. Uh, I'm oh, not touching these that. These feels so oh. weird. Oh like, wait, who is that? That's what I was going to ask you to hold this while I read the card. Okay, good, because... Is that... Maybe that's... Oh, God. Is I don't that even know Captain if that's a male or... I was thinking maybe, but... I think this is Captain Marvel, because... Is that her ponytail sticking out? Is yeah. Is that her mohawk? Her mohawk sticking out through her battle suit. Does she have a suit. mohawk? At the beginning of the movie, she did. I don't remember. She was running around with her alien buddies. But that is super creepy and gross. Hello? Hello? Roger. It says, hold close to talk. <laughs> uh, I don't think there are any batteries in here. Oh, it's the case thing is screwed down, but it's real lightweight, so I'm guessing there's no batteries in it right now. A little digital screen on it. So right now it just says 2038, and it has a little bar of maybe battery for display. We have a drone. A little disco drone of some sort. Does it say who made it or what it's from? I can't read that. That actually would be kind of cool if the whole thing... Uh, would light up and spin and make a whole disco ball in the room and it just flies around and changes where the disco ball is. That'd be cool. That would be really cool. I don't think it does that, you guys. No, and the little switch has been broken off. Oh. Bummer. The wings, the propellers say, uh, do not get close to face or eyes. So, safety first, guys. Safety first. Okay, my turn. What's this? Video game trivia. Ultimate video game trivia. One up. I don't know if this is its own game or if it goes with another game. Debuting on the Amiga in 1992 as a rival to Sonic the Hedgehog, which character was the ninja of the nth dimension? I mean, probably Shadow, right? Uh, no, that would be Zool. Oh, I don't know who Zool is. I don't either. I, I didn't play a lot of Sonic as a kid. I don't know much about Sonic either, but I know there's Shadow, who's like the more evil-looking version of Sonic. That's why I said that. I don't Shadow's know. Shadow's the awesome guy. Okay, ready? Here's the, here's the other one that's on this card. What was the profession of protagonist Gordon Freeman in the 1998 PC game Half-Life? I don't know why you expect me to know any video game. Trivia. I mean, you could have guessed. I was not allowed to be, play video games as a child, so... Super not experienced in video games. Well, there's the question, guys. And if you know the answer, leave it in the comments below. And we will uh, let you guys know in a future video what the correct answer was. Oh, I'll let you go again since I took over and asked you horrible questions. You stole mine. Go ahead. Oh, I thought this was going to be a stress ball. It's not. This is a Little Tykes inflatable soccer ball. I have no idea what it's to, but I like it. <laughs> can we open it? Yes, you can open it. What kind of person would I be if I didn't let her open toys? Nah, they're my toys. I would open them anyway. Oh, that's... I don't know what this is, it's but it looks cool. Robot. It looks like a little battle bot. It's got two channels on the back, or two features. I don't know. It's really super light. So I doubt it has batteries in it, but it's cute looking. There we go. Is that the Elite Launcher? 
Yeah, it says Beyblade on it. I was like, I have no idea what this is, but it looked like a little, but it doesn't actually do anything. You don't press you, this, so I don't know. I think you actually have to load the yeah. Beyblade onto it first. We didn't open the Beyblade, so I don't, I don't know. Here we go. It's your favorite character ever from the Lego movie. Unikitty. Little backpack keychain of Unikitty like here. angry Unikitty with the fire. Yeah, all the fire? Yeah. So destructive, this one. All right, I want whatever this is. It is. A bunny rabbit. A squeeze me is a bunny. It's kind of cute, though. It's a little sequiny, glittery nonsense in its ears and on its arms and feet. It's cute. It's a little sleeping bunny. Here's a, uh, here's one for you. Got a little tiger fingerling. She loves these fingerling things. But it's so cute. He is just jealous because they don't fit on his fingers. Ah, the yippee. <laughs> it's adorable. No, it's a fingerling. <laughs> there is a toy called Dorables. This is some kind of creature, possibly a dragon? a dragon? I don't know. It's got pretty funny looking ears here and horns, it looks like. So I'm going to vote probably a dragon. It's, like it's a backpack clip of some sort. It's a Pomsy Poos. A Pomsy Poos? Mm hmm. Although it doesn't seem to have anything to do with poop, so I don't really know. It's got a little heart keychain on it. And it looks like it's supposed to be one of those bracelet things, which I do have tiny wrists, but I don't know that it's really meant for that. Or if it's just supposed to be like a little spring. I don't know. I don't really know, you guys, what you do with this. It's kind of strange. I, I don't feel too strongly about it. I'm not super attached. Alright. We got a uh, wand of some sort here. Looks like a Mardi Gras throw type thing. Alright, I got the basket. Basket! Baskets! Look, this is actually a pretty sturdy basket. I thought it would be a really cheapy one, but this, feel this. I'm pretty legit. Oh, that is a legit... It's a room essentials basket, guys. It's actually not a pretty toy. nice. This is I don't a... usually review things that aren't toys, but... Put little toys in it, little games and dice and cards and things maybe. It's it's a Disney guy. I don't know who. Right. Oh, oh there's like, a big. Oh, is that Christopher Robin maybe? It could also be a Frozen character. They they I really wish they would put who the character is supposed to be on these things. You know, isn't that kind of terrible though? If you really can't tell, is it worth it? Because you're gonna cut the tag off of it, right? It doesn't say on his butt tag. Nope. Let me see. All right, guys, who wears a blue shirt and brown pants or shorts and has brown hair? Who is it, guys? Who is it? We do not know. Oh, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Maybe it's Flynn Rider. This looks like a beard or something. Yeah, that could be a goatee. A little bit of a beard. On it. I don't know. Let us know in the comments if you know who this is supposed to be. I want the stickers. Stickers! <laughs> We've got three sheets of hearts, four sheets of smiley faces, and three sheets of stars. Ooh, the stars That's... are all, like... I could chuck a glittery. They're not, they're not glittery, they're just shiny and sparkly. The glitter doesn't come off, which is really nice. I love stickers. Stickers are fun. Stickers also make great uh, reward things. I know when I was younger, we had a rewards chart and different things, you know, like when we did our chores or whatever we needed to do for the week, we would get a little sticker. If we made good grades or whatever, you know, you need to work on with your child. These are awesome prizes for it. Even if they only go on the chart or put them on the back of your hand and stuff, these are really great parents just just saying and usually you can pick them up pretty cheap just about anywhere so that's awesome right on. next up we have a sticker roll dispenser what? shaped like an apple oh my mom's gonna need that my mom's a teacher so you know teacher apples what's this shopkins sweet crunchy pop candy mint okay no we're not eating this but it's some kind of shopkins candy did you know shopkins made actual food <laughs> i did not know shopkins made actual That's food actually and that makes funny. it even more terrifying um it's made by moose moose makes all the different shopkins items no it's made by boston america guys distributed by boston america for moose because moose makes shopkins okay I feel a little bit better okay. about the fact that a toy manufacturing company isn't the one responsible for making this. All right. Yay, we can play with the Sum Sums again. Oak's got a gray top hat with some goggles. Is this a, like a Star Wars? Yeah, this is a Star Wars one. Um, there's some Han Solo. Oh, is that Han Solo from? from Hoth? Maybe. I think so. I don't know. It says Star Wars Lucasfilms on it. Once I saw the goggles, I was like, oh, hold on. I know what this is. Oh, cool. Yay, I think we got one. Ooh -hoo -hoo. Okay. All right, we got another one of those... Uh, Ponzi poos. Okay, can you tell what animal this one is? This one's called Chewy. It's part mm -hmm. of series one. You know what this reminds me of? That one looks like a cat, maybe. I don't know. What does it remind you of? Uh, I think it's a beaver. Look at the, it has buck teeth. Hmm. 
It is good. It's nice that we can't tell what animal it is, you know? But um, this reminds me of those things that uh, girls, when I was in elementary and middle school, put in their hair, their ponytails, oh, to like decorate them. The, well, it, kind of, it wasn't really a scrunchie. It went around the scrunchie to kind of decorate their hair, and it would just be like staring at you from the back of their head the entire class. It's really creepy, actually. When you had a crush on a girl, did you like take them out of their hair and stuff and run no. around the playground? No. I feel like you did cheat yourself. I wasn't mean to girls. Oh, just now? Yeah, just Nowadays, you. Oh, yeah, just okay. you. Ah, oh, friends, guys. Okay. What the heck is this? <laughs> it looks like stool. half of a uh, dumbbell here. It's a bar stool. It's gotta be. Oh, maybe like for an American Girl doll or something? Or something the, like the that. The size of that? What, what size are they? 18 inches, maybe? Mm, something like that. 18, 19. I think they're about an 18 inch doll. I don't know. It's a little bar stool. It's not squishy. It's like, well, there's, there's a slight hollow piece inside of it, but it's definitely very solid. The, uh, the side of the seat looks like it's rubber. All right, we got a mommy squishy. Mm. Wow. His mm. eyes are kind of weird. His yeah, eyes are kind of drawn out over his wrappings right there. And a little bloodshot too. Close so they can see it. Not to me. <laughs> I can see it. It is from Squish Delish from Jax. Mm -hmm. All right, we got a little gorilla with a white nose. He's plastic. This is from Tara by. The Tat, or maybe it's called Terra by the Tat. I'm not really sure. For ages three plus, it doesn't. It doesn't have any uh, joints. It's one of those full action, solid action figure dudes. It almost looks like a baboon with that nose, but it's not because its bottom is completely black. It's a gorilla. All right, we got this thing. What is it? I don't know. Oh, it's kind of cute. Does it squeak? No, it doesn't really look no. like it does anything. You know what it reminds me of, though? It reminds me of um, the monsters from Qbert. I wonder yes. if that was released with um, the Wreck-It Ralph, Ralph Breaks the Internet stuff. I doubt it, because we would have seen this character in the show. I know Qbert was in the show, though. Yeah, just Qbert, though. It says Hog Wild, is what it says underneath it. All right, this is a piece of trash, and I don't know what it came from, but it's a little donut, you guys, and it's actually all got... Oh, I'm trying. Okay, it's got little embossed sprinkles and stuff on it. It's actually kind of cute. Oh, what is the uh, sergeant dude's name from Zootopia? I don't know. I know it's a water buffalo. <laughs> uh, you guys, I feel I feel horrible about not being able to remember what his name is right now, but this is a big police sergeant dude from Zootopia. If you guys know, put it in the comments below. All right. All right. Well, you get that Lego. Get it. Get yep. It, get it. And that's it. This is it for today. This okay. last little Lego. So what did you guys think of all of the toys in this bin? Would you ever buy a mystery tote of toys like we did? Um, also, let us know how we did on the video and what you like to see differently because we do have five of these. And we also have pallets of toys, which are like those big, huge watermelon cardboard bucket things. Mm -hmm. I, like I could fit in this bucket. Both of us could fit in this in this bucket. I mean, if there weren't any toys in it, but they're filled with toys. So super, super excited to get those. I just show them to you. But let us know how you want to see that or if you want to see something different or know anything else different. And of course, let us know in the comments below on anything that you either have that you want to talk about, if you liked it or didn't like it. Or if we didn't know what it was and you know, please let us know. Anything else you want to add? Don't forget, if you know the, uh, the trivia answer, Pop it down below in the comments section, and again, we'll let you know if you got it right on the next video. All right, well, that's it for today. Be sure to check out our channel for all kinds of fun toy reviews and other videos, including blind boxes and now mystery boxes. Until next time, have a great time playing. Bye. Bye.